In this video, I'll show you the Nidorf Rook G1 lines. So it starts off in E4, C5, by black, knight f3 by white, d6, e4, cd4, knight d4, knight f6, and knight c3. And now black plays a very interesting move, a6. And now white straight away plays interesting move, rook to g1. Now black has ideas here of e5, attacking the knight and moving it away, so white just pushes it away with e5. Now white plays knight to b3, moving the knight back, trying to basically go for more attack. White's going to cast queenside now that the rook is um, gone to g1, so now that guarantees black is going to go for a queen side attack. Bishop to e6 developing the bishop and now g4 by the way. g4 preparing g5 pushing the knight away. So now black goes for h6 stopping g5. So if white plays g5 we can just take. h4 reinforcing g5. Bishop to e7. Um, Going for a take, white plays g5, white anyway plays g5, black takes, and now white takes attacking the knight, black plays knight to d7, and now bishop e3, developing the bishop, knight to c6, developing the knight, putting more pressure on the d4 square, queen to d2, preparing a queenside castle by white, b5 starting the queenside attack queenside castle and now g6 by black bishop d2 putting more pressure on the h file as well as attacking the h5 square a bit so black can play like something like rook h5 taking g5 pawn putting more pressure bishop to f8 now f4 now takes ef4 and now white takes now black has to play move like as many moves but black plays knight c e5 this would be pretty good for white but also i could i would say black can counter attack a little and get a decent position like and subscribe and hope you learned how to play the night of rook g1 lines next video i'll be covering the night of um a3 lines and that will be the end of the night of sicilian variations and then i'll start more um sicilian variations